You know, sometimes, I know this sounds weird, but sometimes I wish that, like, I was born without a dick and, and balls, bro. <laughs> like, literally, because that shit is so distracting. Like, you fucking over here focusing on your goal, focusing on your passion or whatever the fuck. And, you, you know, you see that one girl or you see a hot girl or whatever, and it's like, dude, shit just throws you off. If you didn't have any you-know-what, then you wouldn't even think twice about it. I mean, think about how many people fuck over their lives because they get a girl pregnant. <laughs> Or they get married to the wrong girl. Or they just spend time simping for somebody for a certain amount of time. And it's just like, it's just a waste of time, bro. Just imagine all the pro productivity that you could just get by just focusing on that one thing, bro. Literally. I want to tell you guys a little quick story, okay? It was actually on this exact machine I'm in right now, right? I come in, I'm working out one day. I think I was doing like chess or some shit. And there's this guy, coincidentally, because I moved, for those of you who don't know, I used to live in like Miami, and I live like more up north where like Boca is. And there's this guy, bro, that used to go to my old gym. Talked to him one time, never talked to him again. Then I moved, I came here, whatever. Funny story, I go to this gym, which I moved like 40 minutes more north. Tell me how I see this motherfucker here too. And he starts talking to me. I don't recognize him until like five minutes in the conversation. He starts talking to me. And he starts talking to me about the same shit, talking to me about like girls and shit, how like girls in this country are fucked or whatever the fuck, like just weird shit, you know? And I thought, I thought it was like really funny though, because he was on this machine and I'm like trying to walk away. And like, I'm not gonna lie, I felt like a little insulted, bro. I felt a little insulted, because bro, this motherfucker, bro. First thing he says to me, he's like, you know how I know you're on roids? Because your shoulders and your acne. I don't know, I kind of got annoyed, because it, it felt like, he was saying it in like a malicious way. And I'm just like, bro, I'm natural, dude. But I mean, I guess, thanks. And he's like, bro, don't bullshit me, bro. Be honest with me. I'm like, dude, I don't understand. On the internet, everyone calls me small, that I don't work out, I need to consume protein, blah, 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 all this bullshit. And in person, even by like fucking professional bodybuilders, right? Like professional bodybuilders will say to me like, are you on gear? You have the look. I'm like, no, I'm not. But I, I don't know. I just had to talk about that because it, it's just bullshit how it is. Like the internet's one thing and in person it's another. I don't fucking know. Maybe if I stay, maybe if I hold on a little longer, maybe if I stay. All right, boys, I want to specify something really like important, okay? I know you guys see me do a lot of my content revolving around women and picking up girls and shit. And motherfuckers thinking I'm like smashing all these chicks like I'm some playboy top G. <laughs> the truth is, is that I'm not. I'm actually somebody who really values a girl with morals and a girl that's not a hoe, you know? Because I think that's really important. You know, I see all these chicks nowadays, especially in this generation. They fucking sleep with all these guys and shit. And it's like, bro, like, I, that shit's just like a turn off, bro, you know? So usually, like, when I pick up girls and shit for my videos, 99% of the time, I delete their number. The only way I'm ever usually ever in contact with them is if they usually, like, follow me on Instagram. And I think they're cool. Follow them, maybe talk to them for a little bit, you know? But, yeah, I'm not really like that, guys, you know? I know it's like very like you know debatable it's controversial you know on the internet people are like he's lying yeah, he's, he's saying that shit because he gets rejected and then he deletes it off <laughs> it's fucked up too because usually like when they give it to me in the video when they give it to me i'm like deleting it on the spot <laughs> all right guys um it's a little stupid cheesy workout for you guys honestly nothing crazy nothing special i just wanted to pump something out if you want me to be completely honest with you but i do want to say really quickly that this last week i felt in I feel an overwhelmingly amount of like pressure on me, dude. Like it's on my fucking body, on my chest, like I'm everything, you know? Like I feel like so fucking pressured to just execute and do, get done, you know? I got a lot on my fucking chest, a lot of collabs, a lot of really big videos that I've already done or I'm in the process of doing that I have to edit that I've never fucking edited before and it's like hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of editing and all this fucking shit dude i'm not gonna lie and it's stressing me the fuck out and it, it's getting to me a little bit you know but i have to realize that at the end of the day like with anything in life when it comes to business or relationships or friendships or fucking just anything right you know in life it's not gonna be stagnant it's not gonna be just like still like this you know there's gonna be ups and downs and 
you know, especially when it comes to like this shit, you know, it's like once you get to that level, once once you're like increasing, you're getting higher and higher and higher and higher. You, you got to do what you got to do. You know, you got to you got to step up that a game. You know, you got to fucking just, just pace yourself, but keep up with that rhythm, because if you don't, it's going to run past you like no fucking tomorrow. And then it's too late because it's already way ahead of you and it's gone. You know, we're going to make it We're up to one million subscribers. I'm just really nervous, and I'm just, uh, God, you know, like, I, I'm getting, like, a little bit of a jittery feeling, you know, because it's, like, you waited for so long, especially the OGs of the channel, you know, you guys have fucking witnessed with your own eyes and seeing, like, damn, this guy's been fucking preaching this, he's gonna get there, this is gonna happen, he's literally saying what he's gonna do and what's gonna happen to him and come to him, and it's, like, I guess I've never really, like, expected feeling like this, but, like, I don't know, man. It's like once it hits you, it's like, OK, guys, the the rhythm is there. I got to keep up with it now because, you know, I was going like this. Now I, I feel like I'm, I'm going up. I feel like I'm going up. You know, it's like you're on an airplane and like you're about to fucking launch. You're about to take off up in this bitch, you know, and we're about to take off. And I'm 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 nervous. <laughs> I know I said it like a million times, but guys, it's like, fuck, dude, we I feel like we did it already. I feel like we did it, you know, thanks to you guys, thanks, thanks for, like, me being so, like, devoted, and, and, you know, okay with the delayed gratification, and just perspicacious, and fucking relentless, and, and with the t tenacity like no other, you know, just grinding it out, you know, a lot of you guys have been reaching out, thanking me, and saying, like, you know, I help you guys out with bad days, and I fucking, my videos are entertaining, and I make you guys laugh, and then you guys are also congratulating me on my milestones, and, like, I'm gonna make it, and saying all this, like, positive-ass shit to me, which, it means a lot, it means the world to me, and I, I don't even know what to say, dude, honestly, it leaves me speechless sometimes, because I think that I'm like, damn, bro, like, it is really crazy that we wake up, and we die after, you know, we wake up and, and after, uh, I don't know how many years, we all have an expiration date, you know, and we never know when that day is to truly come. We never know. It could be tomorrow. It could be within an hour. It could be in a year. It could be in 2050. We don't know. And it just, it's really sad that a lot of us don't really like just do what we really want to do in life because at the end of the day, it's our lives, not anybody else's. So why the fuck are you doing what somebody else wants you to do? You know, do what the fuck you want to do because you only have this life one time. At least that we know of, you know? Yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys for supporting me. Thank you guys. If you haven't already subscribed, you already know what the fuck is up. Like the video, comment, do all that good shit. And yeah, it's your boy Kevin Dees from Crew Aesthetics. And there's really nothing else to say but road to one million motherfucking subscribers. Peace. <laughs>